In Italy's Pompeii, archaeologists are on a quest to put back together pieces of the once thriving city. Paintings adorn its ruins, long buried underneath rubble when Mount Vesuvius exploded thousands of years ago. Thanks to a pioneering robotic system designed to support them, Pompeii's ancient Roman frescoes are getting a second life. Archaeologists and robots now work together to reassemble these fragmented artifacts, often a painstaking task. The technology developed under a EU-funded project called Repair combines advanced image recognition, AI-driven puzzle solving, and ultra-precise robotic hands, all linked to accelerate traditionally slow and often frustrating restoration work. Gabriel Zuch Trigo, director of the Archaeological Park of Pompeii, says the project was necessary to recompose fragments partly destroyed during World War II. I think it is part of a much larger development where we see that in the, the humanities and archaeology, much of what used to be a large part of our daily work can now be done um, by technology, by artificial intelligence, by robotics. Experts say the task is similar to solving a giant jigsaw puzzle, with curved balls such as missing pieces and no reference image of the final result. Marcelo Pelillo is a professor at Cafuscari University of Venice. It's like you buy uh, four or five boxes of jigsaw puzzles, you mix everything together, then you throw away the boxes and then you try to solve four or five puzzles at the same time. The robot has twin arms with flexible hands in two sizes and vision sensors to identify, grip, and assemble fragments without damaging their delicate surfaces. During its testing phase, researchers created replicas of some of the ancient city's most iconic frescoes preserved in a fragmentary state in Pompeii storerooms to avoid risking the original pieces. Meantime, AI and machine learning experts develop algorithms to reconstruct the frescoes, matching colors and patterns that may not be visible to the human eye. Researchers believe the technology could transform restoration practices worldwide. But for Zuckrigel, this turning point will not spell the end of archaeology as a profession. Does this mean that we don't need archaeologists? Uh, archaeologists anymore in the future and that everything will be replaced by by machines and and digital technologies the answer is obviously no but what's going to happen is i think that the work of archaeologists will dramatically change and in some way i think we will get back to to our origins to the interpretation of artworks of uh, daily life of social structures, architecture, 